Hello everyone, Jose here with Select Star Gaming, and I want to give you guys my review of Sea of Thieves. And when I say my review, I literally mean just my review. Chepo and Ridge like this game, and if they want to tell you why they like that game, then I hope they make a video talking about it. It's pretty cool getting different point of views on these types of things, but I'm going to tell you why I didn't like this game. First off, right off the bat, I'm going to say that I was extremely disappointed finding out that I can't even make my own damn pirate. All right, the fact that I have to let the game randomly generate me a pirate, you know, based on whatever algorithm that they have, was extremely disappointing, okay? In this day and age, I love sliders, I love radial maps, I love it. all these things you do to make your characters look funky, weird, awesome, sexy, whatever you want. And the fact that all these pirates not only looked terribly horrendous, it makes me, like, hate the fact that this isn't, like, original OG Rare that made lovable, colorful characters. Looking back at Rare's history, the character like banjo kazooie donkey kong or even like killer instinct it's like why are these characters so like three hours later generic and ugly at the same time it's extremely disappointing there are some cool standouts i've seen some people have but generally speaking it's just like man like why can't i just make my own pirate why does it have to be this fucking complicated and like that might be a personal thing i like artistic things like that making your own things customizing shit but I really didn't like the way they implemented this right off the game and I'm not kidding you I spent probably at least like an hour or two at the pirate generation just waiting for the fucking thing to give me something that I can at least tolerate to represent me in game especially since I'm stuck with this pirate for the rest of my experience with this game now from here on out I'm gonna say this right now that I was playing with Ridge the entire time my whole Sea of Thieves career experience was with Ridge so like I had a sort of helping hand getting through this game but he said the first thing i need to do was eat a banana the game didn't tell me shit how am i supposed to know i'm supposed to eat a banana what the fuck does a banana do where do i even find these bananas i don't know what i would have done in this game if i wasn't playing with someone but that's the whole point of this game is to play with people so i embrace that i like multiplayer games but at the same time you gotta at least let me know what the fuck am i supposed to do like what if i was someone who had no friends Wait, do I have friends? Now, normally at this point, I'm not really taken by shock when I see something in a game. You know, I've been playing games ever since I was a kid. So, like, when I first jumped into it, I saw one graphical anomaly that I've never seen so well rendered in a game before. But the water is fantastic. I was sitting there staring at it, looking at it, peering into the blue. And I was saying to myself, they should make a pirate game based off this. And I realized... I was playing in a pirate game. This wasn't Water Simulator 2.0. This was an actual game. And I was like, wow. Why can't the rest of the game look as good as this fucking water? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the game looks ugly. I'm not saying the game looks bad. But after sitting at the fucking character generation screen for two and a half hours trying to make a decent looking pirate, I kept thinking to myself, like, man, they put more effort into the fucking water than they did the main characters of this game. Man, just look at that water. So after dealing with terrible customization and amazing water effects, I was like, all right, you know, I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to board this little dinghy that we call a boat. I'm going to set sail on the open seas. And the first thing I noticed, and I was like, wait a minute, something's missing. There's something missing. There's an integral component here to make me really feel like a pirate. Something that's supposed to be here after like 20 odd plus years of rare history. And after a short while, I realized... <laughs> There's basically no music in this game. Looking back at something like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I love Breath of the Wild. It's a great game. I was stuck in that game for hundreds of hours exploring the whole world and finding new things that I could do in it. But the problem that that game also had was that the music sucked. The thing about these types of games, these open world titles, is that there's not a lot of music differentiating one area to another, which is pretty disappointing, especially again after Rare having such a long history with amazing music. Killer Inst. Oh, I didn't see the boss. Oh shit, they have guns! Ah! Saying <laughs> <laughs> Badge Kazooie. Okay, I hear you, motherfucker, but where the fuck are you? Half the fucking, more than half the fucking screen is covered up by this fucking cage. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, you could go on and on. There's very little times in which I'd hear something in the background that sounded like amazing pirate shit. And instead of hearing anything that was good, it was nothing but silence. And that leads me to another situation with this game. The open world is great, I like it, but the thing is there's a lot of just emptiness. There's a lot of just nothing there, you know? Every now and then they try to have a little shipwreck there, you know, for you to do something, you know, collect some stuff. And other times it's like, oh, there's a little 
little island and literally this island is 10 by 10 feet so it's like not much to do on there either it's like is the world this empty is the only sea life out here great white sharks that keep killing me over and over and over again is that it you can't put in anything else were whales not invented in this point of history i just find it very disappointed that basically this whole world is filled with the exact same enemies over and over and over again some skeletons humans and some sharks and that's kind of it though there's not a lot to really be explored it's really fun to dive into the game with a friend and that's what i was saying early on the multiplayer component is pretty cool because you do these missions with your buddies and it's kind of like what kind of antics can you get yourself into and it's a lot of fun just to like pretend to be a pirate you know you have the accent you know you're like all right coming up with shanty sea tales but it gets pretty old pretty fucking quick when we started working on missions we were basically just doing the same thing over and over again kill the skeleton you know then kill this next group of skeletons and then kill the boss skeletons go to the next island rinse and repeat I know there's actually three different types of missions that you have to recycle through over and over again, but it sounded like the only way we can actually make a lot of good money without having to do a raid is basically doing the skeleton missions over and over and over again. And that's when I realized there's something about this game that is extremely wrong and feels terrible, and that's the combat. The combat is awful. I had zero fun with combat. Whether it was with skeletons or against humans, the combat, it just doesn't interest me. It's all the same weapons that everyone has across the board, and you're killing the exact same enemies over and over again. And there's certain cheese tactics that you could do and even beat those enemies. And trust me, you're going to want to do these cheese tactics because these fucking skeletons are dicks. They are fucking assholes. They will murder you on sight. They will perform firing squad shit on you. And if you really need evidence, look at this motherfucker beating the living dog shit out of me. All right. I can't even fucking escape his like combo fury. What the fuck am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do except accept death. This game is seriously flawed in that it's not even fun to fight as a pirate. But doing these missions reminded me of another title that I really didn't have a lot of fun with and that was the original Destiny. I bought the game at launch and played it with Ridge as well. And I remember a certain situation in where I needed to level up a piece of shit armor with helium filaments. And I got as much helium filaments from the game that it offered me. Now, this is before you could trade in for helium filaments or buy it or whatever the new upgrades are for Destiny 2. And I resorted to running around the environment over and over again, handing up these chests and collecting more helium filaments. And I was sitting there for hours. And then when Ridge called me one day and he's like, hey, man, what are you doing? And my reply was collecting helium filaments. And as those words left my mouth, I was like, wait a minute, I'm not shooting people. I'm not killing aliens. I'm running around this world hitting up these little boxes over and over and over again, collecting helium filaments. And I knew that's it. I'm done. I can't play this game anymore. And after killing all these skeletons, after collecting all these treasure chests from these treasure maps, I'm like, you know what, man, if this is all going to be doing, I'm done. I can't keep playing this game. It's too repetitive. And just as soon as I thought I was going to uninstall the game, we immediately got attacked by another motherfucker trying to take our loot. I was like, dude, like we're actually having a real pirate battle with these other fucking pirates. And then after we murdered him, we collected his fucking treasure. I was like, damn, we are actually pirates. We are looting this motherfucker's dead corpse and we are using it for our own personal gain. Hell yeah, this is awesome. And then I kept playing for another three hours and then I was like, I'm done with this game, it's too fucking repetitive. This vicious cycle continued for at least like two or three times and I kept thinking to myself like, man, like what am I working for? You know, what am I trying to do? Like, what is the end game here? Like, do I get a super cool blunderbuss? You know, do we get like a special ship unlocked? So I talked to Ridge and I'm like, hey man, like what do we do now? Like with all this money that we have, with these levels that we collect, like what do we get? And looking at it, you get nothing. You get cosmetic shit. You take this garbage pirate that you have and you make them look slightly better. You take the legs, you take the hands, you get peg legs, you get hooks, you get these hats and you make your gun look a little bit different, but that's it. You don't get like better weapons or anything. I could play the game for like 200 hours, but it won't matter because at the end of the day, some dude who played it for an hour can still come up from behind and cut me in half with no problem. It simply boils down to a vicious cycle of like just loot, get money, look a little bit cooler and that's it. There's nothing else. There's no reward. There's no like story ending. There is no like thing to tie everything together. All it is is get to one place to another and do the simple thing and rinse and repeat. There is no real end game here. And I kept thinking to myself like how is this even possible man? I'm sitting here playing this game and it's supposed to be making me feel like a pirate. And I kept thinking to myself like dude like I can't believe it. 
This game has broken me down, has broken my will, and has made me feel like But I don't want to be a pirate! I can't recommend this game for everyone, man. Like, if you want to play with a group of friends, I say you should at least try it, especially since it's on the Game Pass, you can play it for free. But I would definitely hold off on paying $60 for this thing, especially since it feels pretty incomplete. But Rare has promised that they will support the game for many years to come, so who knows, maybe by this time next year, the game will be fully fledged and actually have a lot of cool things added onto it. You can get it for free in the Game Pass, but... I wouldn't recommend you waste your time with it. I say you should play something else, you know, that could hold your attention much longer, like Super Lucky's Tale or Zoo Tycoon. You know, those games are on the Game Pass. Uh, you give those a spin. Thank you.